All right, guys, what's up? Welcome back. Happy Friday. Yeah, today's Friday. I don't know. I honestly, guys, I've been putting out videos, I think like three every day since at, at least three every day since uh, Warzone season three came out. Uh, it's been a long week of videos. Probably just going to make this one today for Friday. I, I don't know. Maybe we'll see if there's more. Uh, I really don't know what I'm doing with my channel still. It's growing, but uh, the views are all over the place. So we'll see. You know, maybe I'll mix in some tutorials. Maybe I'll do some gameplays. Maybe I'll do some commentaries like I, you know, I normally do. Uh, we'll see. You know, I really don't know what I'm going with this channel, but, uh, you know, I'm happy to see the support I'm getting so far. Anyway, regardless of all that, today I wanted to do a quick video just talking about my new thoughts on the Warzone map. Uh, this is going to be kind of your basic commentary. Um, I wanted to talk about the Warzone map because... Honestly, um, like I've been hearing mixed things about it, right? Like some of you guys on Twitter have been very vocal about, oh, it's the same map. They're just renamed things. It's just, it's not different. We waited a year for this. And, and to me, I'm like, I agree. I see that point. But at the same time, you know, I, I feel like if they strayed too far and weren't as safe as they currently are right now, because like, honestly, you're they're right. You know what I mean? Like, you're right. If you think it's the same map with just different names and things like that, you're pretty much right. You know, Summit replaced Dam and things like that. There's not a lot of different stuff in it. Uh, a lot of the names are the same. Some locations are, you know, visibly different. But, you know, there's like I said, there's just not a lot of differences. You know, a lot of it is still the same old, same old. Uh, as far as my thoughts on it go and the gameplay you're watching is not amazing, mainly because, you know, the first day of a new event, it's it's going to be sweaty. You know, you're not going to get no easy lobbies in uh, in Warzone on the first day of an event. Uh, so, you know, it, it's, it's going to be a sweaty. I don't get many kills in this gameplay. You know, you're going to see me snipe a lot. It's it's you know, it comes down to the wire. But at this end, at the same time, I don't really you know do super well. Regarding my thoughts on the map so far, uh, I like it, you know, even though it's pretty much similar, uh, you know, it's just taking a look right now at the gameplay, it's pretty much similar, but, you know, it, it works, it still works. I think the color saturation definitely stepped up a, a little bit, you know, it's not even just the NVIDIA game filter, by the way, which is, you know, one of the main differences here. Uh, and I did change up my NVIDIA game filter. I have no color correction settings right now on this gameplay you're watching. Uh, so, you know, if, if you're wondering, it's, it's not, you know, After Effects or Premiere Pro, it's not settings changed after that. It's just the NVIDIA game filter. What you're seeing is what I'm seeing when I'm playing live. Regardless of all that, I do like the new saturation. Uh, I do like the new effects. I like the weapon balancing from this meta because, uh, you know, people don't know what to use. You know, some people are using M13. I hear the Krig is back. Uh, some people want to go back to sniping, you know, so it's, it's a lot of cool stuff right now going on in the meta. We don't have the same AUG build, the same, I don't know, FAMAS or FAFAR. You know, it, it's a little bit different here and there, so I like that. Regardless of all that, uh, as far as the map itself goes, like I said before, I like it. You know, nothing, nothing too different. Uh, the game, the game mode. Sorry, I'm playing right now is called Verdansk Resurgence Trio. So, uh, pretty much Rebirth Island, except on the new map. I don't know if this mode is gone at the time this video will go up, but uh, you know, assuming it's not, it's all right. You know, it's not like Big War Zone or anything. It's still, you know, a lot more action packed, which personally I like. I don't really like the campiness though, because personally, this this uh, this circle right now has set us at downtown, as you can see in the gameplay, and downtown is still pretty campy, regardless of all the changes. But I checked out Summit. I checked out a few other places in the map, and you know, it's nice. You know, I I like that dam is now no longer somewhere that you just you go to just like mess around or you know to complete challenges or hide or something. You know, people actually can go to Summit. People can actually do certain things in these areas of maps right now because I don't know if you guys remember. Remember, but previously on a lot of these maps there were very like many dead spots where people were just like either avoid until the final circle or people would just avoid altogether because they didn't want anybody to go there they didn't want to get sniped out of nowhere or something like that you know uh, there was a lot of dead spots and i think that it's it's pretty cool now that we can avoid them because there's going to be new hotspots and stuff like that. Now, do I wish that we got a brand new map altogether or maybe some actual changes? Yeah, a little bit. But at the same time, I kind of think of this as like the Star Wars movie franchise, right? Uh, with the original Verdance being like, you know, Star Wars episodes like four through six, the original trilogy, you know, when they make seven, eight and nine, 
do you want to stray that far away from the original that that's you know fans love you know maybe there's some haters maybe there's 10 percent who hate star wars but you know 90 percent like it you know are you going to stray to please that 10 percent or are you going to please or try to please the 90 percent i think that's kind of what they aimed for here because they made it very similar to the original so if you like the original you're going to like this now and i think many people didn't have an issue with the original you know like maybe you did maybe you didn't but uh, for the most part if you played warzone you weren't really disliking it because of the map you were disliking it because of the meta so this is the part where i want to turn it over to you guys let me know do you guys hate the new map do you guys like it personally you know so far it really doesn't feel different to me i'll, I'll be honest with you guys uh there's like two places that seem different to me and that's like summit and maybe uh, uh what's it called quarry other than that they don't really seem that different to me so far in the places I've visited. I haven't gone everywhere yet, you know, I've only played maybe four games on the new map. I've honestly been playing a lot of Rebirth just because it's a lot more action packed. It seems more fun, you know, it, it's way more fun in my personal opinion to play Rebirth and just keep coming back over and over again rather than you can see in the gameplay. Sometimes I'm just sitting around on head on like on the tops of buildings. Sometimes I'm just sitting ADS in a sniper position like it's I don't know. That's not Call of Duty to me, you know, like it can be fun sometimes but that's not that's not why i play cod i don't play cod to sit on rooftops and snipe i don't play cod to uh, i don't know camp in the final circle and pick off a team at the very end like th that's not how i want to win games it's not wanna, how i want to have fun i get it sometimes that's how you gotta do it that's sometimes you know how you gotta win games and especially in battle royales but you know it's not for me maybe it's for you uh but you know i, I do want to know what you guys think about the new map uh what do you guys think about the event as well i got some time left over let's talk about the event Personally, I was disappointed. I didn't even get to play the Destruction of Verdansk Season 2 event because the servers, the servers didn't let me in. You know, I was literally on it from, I think the event launched at 3 p.m. I was in it from like 2.45 to maybe like 4.30 before I could finally get in. It was a joke. When I finally got in at like 5, uh, I think the event was gone or something. I don't know. It was a joke. It's just a <laughs> terrible, terrible event. Fortunately, I was able to watch people like uh, like JB, like J Bone Man. Uh, I think I saw Nick Merckx for a little bit. Uh, I did get to see them complete the event, so that was cool. But, you know, end of the day, it, I, I don't know, man. Warzone, fix your servers. I'm not going to make a whole rant on this and make it last super long, but you guys know, you guys agree, you guys need to fix your servers, all right? Like, I, I get that it's hard. You know, I get that you're probably not going to be prepared for something like this, but your AAA development studio, you should have the resources to hopefully be able to do that, all right? Hopefully be able to, you know, be prepared at least, not be taken all by surprise. Oh, I, I didn't know we were going to have this many people. All right, guys, come on. Who, who are we kidding here? All right, you're not fooling anybody. But anyway, that's going to do it for the video. Thanks so much for watching. Leave a like if you enjoyed. Subscribe if you're new to the channel. And have a great weekend, guys. Appreciate the recent support. We just hit 42, 4,300 subscribers, something like that. So we're on our way to 5K. If you want to help out there, that'd be cool. If not, whatever. And thanks for watching. Have a great day, guys. Peace out.